Hey guys, uh, Jeff here again, back with another video. If I'm making two videos in the span of a couple hours, this is a good sign. Um, I'm going to be doing shipping tomorrow, and I've got a few more orders that kind of came in at the end of the night. So I want to show you guys. And one is kind of like a, it's somebody added to the VHS, uh, the Stephen King lot that uh, I basically had sent an offer on. And why this is significant, let me just back up. My name is Jeff. Welcome to Hey Fro Sales. I'm a full-time reseller. We are talking about what sold today, and we're going to do a little story time as well, if I uh, if I can remember. Um, I always have a lot of things going on in my head when I do these videos. I really should write things down, but, uh, you know, honestly, I'm a full-time reseller. I'm a very, very part-time YouTuber, so right now, it makes sense for me to stay focused on, on the business aspect of eBay and to just try to share some of these moments that I have well, a lot of the moments that uh, I have within the eBay business, and we'll see where that goes. So the guy who I sent an offer to for a lot of 11 Stephen King videos, he, he countered back with a very fair offer. Uh, he was kind of like, he basically gave me an offer of 65 all in, in including the shipping and handling, um, with pricing on media mail and everything else across the board going up again. I still cannot believe that we have two, sometimes three price increases per year with uh, post office. I just don't know where we're going to be as a reselling the ability to ship things around the, you know, the U.S. or worldwide in five, six years. Like, it's kind of ridiculous, actually. Like, it one once every year was bad enough anyhow i'm getting off on a tangent so he sent a very fair offer i had these things sitting around forever let's create some flow let's sell it i said yes and because of that look at what else what happened so i told him that i could do free shipping on any other kind of media related products and he ended up picking up four more vhs now, so he bought 11, he added four more. Um, let's just say $60 for these next four VHSs, which I think is a kind of a big win. Uh, I'm, I'm all in for these. I'm saying about seven bucks, if that. Little Mermaid, uh, the, uh, the Black Diamond version, honestly, like, This is one of those weird, weird VHSs where like people were talking about how they were selling these things for so much. I, I ended up buying some. I kind of got sucked into that. I bought some and I, I swear these are like the first Black Diamond videos. Yeah, three out of four of these are, are Black Diamond. These are like the first ones that I've ever sold. And they probably pay for all the other remaining ones that I have. So I'm very thankful for this. So I basically turned a $50 sale into a $110 sale. And that is a huge win as a reseller because it's not going to cost that much more um, to add these to the, it's not going to cost much at all to add these to the media mail uh, box. It's already over a pound. And what would you rather do? So, so, so these, these deep, Four VHSs were, th were three sp other lots, three specific listings. So would you rather do this all in one or would you rather do it all in like four different, you know, packages? You got to print the labels, you know, as you just pay eBay fees on, on, on each, each individual one. No, um, this, this is what you want to strive for as a reseller is your per package profit you you always want to try to be increasing that so these so um so these four these next four that i'm going to show you sixty dollars so this was one there are two little mermaids um this is kind of a cool hans christian anderson little mermaid vhs uh jungle book uh, 
The, the Jungle Book was cool because it had, there it is. It had these, it had some of the inserts in it. Um, it had like this little proof of purchase. It just had these little inserts to come with it. So, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta think that it's a little more rare to have, have those in there. Maybe it's not, like I am not, a uh let's see if i can fix that see if it'll stay i'm not a i'm not a vhs guy per se um so i don't really know the real value of these but he he basically just sent me a message he's like hey i'll do 60 for these ones and no additional shipping and aladdin and aladdin the aladdin one yeah i mean they're, they're the cases are all in pretty good shape Man, that's a that's an awesome win in my book. Um, I've got a local sale tomorrow. That uh, I mean, I really will sell anything. I don't even know why I bought these. I have no idea. They've been in my store forever. I don't even have these listed on eBay. So these are like bamboo flushable liners. Um, now there's there's three of them. One of them I've already put in my car because I was anticipating um, meeting up with this person tomorrow. I've got a bunch of errands I got to run tomorrow. I've got two, possibly three local sales that are going through. That one wallet that I mentioned earlier, these and a Givenchy perfume that uh, is, is almost full, but I, so because it's almost full, I can't sell it on eBay, which ridiculous. Anyhow, so I had these listed locally for 25 for the three. And the guy messages me and he's like, hey, I just want one. So I'm like, okay. You know, in my mind, I'm like, okay, how can I, how can I make this work? How can I frame it in a way that is gonna get him to buy all three? Cause I'm gonna already take the time to meet up with him. I don't wanna just sell one. I wanna sell them all. So I say, all right, I'll do eight for the one. Or I'll do three for 20 and depending on where you're at, I'll bring them to you because I already knew I was going to be out running errands and it just so happens that he's very, very close to me. So uh, I get these out the door, uh, local sale. I love me some local sales for many, many reasons. Um... Let's continue on with a VHS trend. I don't know what it is. I mean, I sold 15 VHSs in one lot. And then I found these at a, at a thrift store a couple months ago, and I just thought they were super cool. Um, living in excess, VHS. Um, I was um, trying to learn a... Uh, in excess song at the time on guitar. Uh, so it was kind of on the brain when I found these. I found that and then this one's Dogs in Space starring Michael Hutchins. So I just lauded these two up. I had never even heard of this. Rock star Michael Hutchins stars in a stunning post-punk epic. Like I literally wish I had a VCR to watch this that, uh, that worked. I mean, this sounds awesome. It's a house in a rundown working class neighborhood of Melbourne, Australia in 1978, but ignore the Australian accents. It could be a hot Ashbury hippie haven circa 1968. It's all there, the casual sex, the mind expanding drug, the mind battering music, and most of all, the illusion of eternal youth. But now that illusion is about to come to an end, a very bitter end. Michael Hutchinson, Hutchins, Lead singer of In Excess stars in this brilliant, provocative look at an endangered counterculture. It's a movie you soon won't forget. Like, never even heard of it. A um, lot of these up. I knew that there was somebody out there that eventually would, would pick these up. Sonny, somebody made me an offer today for $27. I'm like, yes, let's keep this VHS train going. So these are going out the door tomorrow. Um... To follow up on this particular uh, comic that sold the other day, 
Um, and then when I looked at the, and he took a couple days, he didn't pay. Uh, I was going to send him a reminder notice. Uh, do not send a second invoice because I heard that kind of resets the clock to be able to cancel the order. It's better just to send a straight message. But before I do that, I kind of like to get a feel for uh, what kind of buyer I'm dealing with. So I checked on his uh, account and 80% was his uh, feedback, whatever that number is, uh, that, that mine's 100%, his was 80%. So I went and I looked, and I don't know if he had some personal issues, uh, you know, six, eight, nine months ago, because because he had like 10, eight or 10 feed, negative feedbacks in the, in, in, in the, so there's three columns, one month, six months, and then six, whatever, six to 12 months. I think that's what it is. Um, but I was just like, you know what? I'm hoping this guy doesn't buy this thing. So I waited, didn't, didn't say anything, didn't remind him. And as soon as he, as soon as it like made that, uh, it made past that time where I could cancel the order, uh, I did that. I did that and I blocked him because I, I accepted an offer that was below kind of where I wanted to sell this, but sometimes we do and we accept things because we, you know, we got it, we got to eat. Um, so yeah, I was able to relist it and uh, yeah, I'm not going to sell this. I, I've decided I'm not going to sell this again for that, that price that I let this go for. Um, two more sales, um, SpongeBob SquarePants, a little book comic crazy it's not a comic it's like a little it's like a kid's book uh, this sold for like 1478 which i was kind of surprised that this even sold for that much but hey you know we just list things we think they might sell but do we really know the weirdest things and i'm going to tell you a story about one of one of the weirdest things that i'm going to tell you a story of two of the weirdest things that I've ever sold. Um, last other item that has sold was this Wolverine 315. This is a, it's a Susan Komen uh, cancer variant. I believe a lot of the proceeds, if not all of the proceeds of this went to this particular foundation. Uh, this sold for 20, like 20 and change. And I literally have like probably 15 of these. Um, this is, uh, if you don't know, this is Wolverine's daughter. Uh, I, I ended up buying these years ago when X-23, which is that's the character's name, really started to get some notoriety and popularity. And I just figured in the long term, these were going to do well. Uh, I believe I paid four dollars for all maybe three dollars for all all of the issues not all each three dollars each and uh yeah i figured they would do 25 to 40 at, around that time um i figured that's what they would bring in so yeah so anyhow two of the weirdest things that i've ever sold uh years ago uh my my, my youngest daughter was you know she was donating a bunch of stuff and uh I always go through this was probably like I don't know how many years ago this was this was this was when we were allowed to sell used socks yeah this was probably like six seven eight years ago maybe more and um she had these Vancouver Grizzlies socks and I just want to say they were well used um, sometimes I just wonder what I'm able to sell. I, it's like a, it's like a personal challenge. I'm just like, can I sell this? Um, so I listed them, took pictures of them, described them. And, uh, sure enough, they sold for like 12 bucks or original Vancouver Grizzly stuff for, is insanely collectible. Um, one time I was, uh, a thrift store I found this early I'm this is not the second weirdest thing this is kind of like an addendum to the first weirdest thing that I've sold 
But this was this isn't the weirdest thing. This was a cool thing. I basically found this er, um, early vintage Vancouver Grizzly uh, snapback. Uh, I can't remember the, uh, the 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 tag. Anyhow, I listed it at like midnight one night because I I'm up late. I'm a night owl and. Within 20 minutes, I had an offer and I listed it. I think I listed it for like 260 or 270 or maybe even 300. And I got an offer for like, I can't even remember, but it was like 225, 235. And I'm just like, you know what? I paid like five bucks for this thing, if that. So yeah, I accepted it. So um, Mitchell, Mitchell and Ness, I think is the uh, the company. Mitchell and Ness. Yeah, Mitchell and Ness was the was what was on the tag. Okay, the second one of the second weirdest things that I've ever sold was um, I came across this uh, import CD case for a Red Hot Chili Peppers. So it was a Red Hot Chili Peppers CD. Did not have the CD in it. Just the case and the and the you know the sleeve that goes inside it but it was an import here's my reasoning i thought and i didn't pay anything for this somebody was literally throwing this away um i'm like okay you know this is cool imports are cool they're not easy to find they're not easy to to to, to buy and i'm like i bet you there's somebody out there who has the cd but doesn't have the case so I listed it on eBay and lo and behold, somebody, I don't remember exactly, but it was like 10 or $11. Somebody bought an empty CD case for, you know, I just do it for the story, right? I just think this is, this is hilarious. I, I mean, I have tons of these kinds of stories of things that I've sold in the past, you know, it's, it kind of goes with my motto is I see value in things that people don't see. They just, they think that it's garbage, but it's just, it's not the case. There's, there's value everywhere. There's money everywhere. Like we live in an age where, I mean, like in my last video, we, we can, we can just create money. I mean, just think about that. Like, we can just go out there and create money, create wealth from nothing. Um, I just think that's pretty amazing. So um, that's it. Um, this is just a bonus video. I'm going to be super busy to tomorrow, so I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to put a video out. But I got to get packaging this stuff. Uh, so yeah, so I can enjoy the rest of my evening and then wake up and do it all tomorrow. Do it all again tomorrow. So take care, guys. Hopefully your sales are picking up. I don't know what's going on. Um, oh, I did want to say one more thing. So I looked at the last 10 sales on both of my stores. And I thought this was interesting because I know a lot of people with promoted listings are really finding that it's like 80 promoted, 20 organic. Um, but for, for, my, for my one store, last 10 sales, were six to 10, six promoted, 10 organic. And then on the other store, the last 10 were the comp were inverted. So if I said six promoted, four organic, it was six organic, four promoted. So basically a 50% split, which is better than a 80-20 split. Uh, I did up my percentage to three on the one three and a half on the other I'm not happy about it I just want to see if it does any any difference um I don't know like I have such strong feelings of resentment against eBay for for making us do this and if it doesn't provide any kind of like significant change i mean to expect that much change from two to three to or two to three and a half is is kind of silly 
But at the same time, like, I'm not going to just keep upping it and upping it and, and, and playing that promoted listings game. Like, honestly, sales have been pretty good uh, for the last couple days. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that this is the start of something um, more sustainable, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Like, eBay, it's, all, it's, all, it's always a roller coaster. Um, but yeah. And you just kind of got to work through it. You got to try not to let eBay dictate our moods. I think that's one of the, the biggest things as resellers is to just try to, you know, do your thing and, and have faith that, I mean, this sounds kind of cheesy, that it's all going to work out. Because a lot of times it does. You know, it, you know, I've been through weird, eBay has always done weird things. They've made changes and upgrades and sometimes downgrades. Um, but yeah, and it is the summer. So yeah, anyhow, have a good rest of your evening, guys. I hope you find these last couple of videos, uh, you know, inspirational or encouraging, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Uh, I know there's some sellers out there that are, that are, you know, experiencing some difficult times, but, you know, everything's cyclical. Everything's going to turn around. You just got to stay pr productive uh, during these times and, uh, you know, it's all going to, it's all going to work itself out. So, all right, guys, take care. We'll see you and we'll talk to you soon. Oh, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you're still here, if you're still here and you're not, you're doing yourself a, a disservice because you're going to miss some good information coming down the pipeline. All right, guys. Bye.